Hey guys, I'm here with the review for Peace Iced Vanilla Woods from White Barn slash Bath and Body Works. You can pick it up in both Bath and Body Works and White Barn, so it says White Barn on the label though. So I will read you the description. Enjoy a peaceful holiday with this soothing blend of sweet vanilla, smoldering woods, and iced lavender. So this is one of the new holiday scents that came out with this packaging had joy, peppermint marshmallow, and it had um, like comfort fireside and different ones like that. They all have like a peace, joy, comfort type of titles. And then underneath the title, it says what the scent is. So this one is called Peace Iced Vanilla Woods and it has the snowflake on the lid. If you can see that to the right there. It's just one big snowflake on it. Last year they had like three snowflakes, but this year it's just one big snowflake. So first we will talk about the burn. The burn has been really good on this candle. I'll show you the burn so far. It's getting close to being finished and the flames are doing really well. No problems. The wax bowl is clear to the bottom because it's getting close to being finished. So I have had no problems with this, the burn on this candle at all. I ha believe it or not, I have not had to use a cotton ball one time on this candle. But I did do a test on this candle. I decided that I wasn't going to trim the wicks at all. So I didn't trim the wicks at all. The very first time I lit it, it started getting a little bit of mushroom tops on there and then I blew it out and then the next time I went to relight it, those mushroom tops were still on there and I thought I'm going to try lighting it without trimming those mushroom tops. So I did. I lit it with the mushroom tops still on there and it it kind of popped a little bit at first and the smoke kind of came up just a little bit but then it stopped and then it calmed down and then it just it had a nice good flame and was burning fine and I did that thereafter. I didn't get too much of a big mushroom top on each burn after that but the wicks got a little bit tall but it didn't get too bad. Normally I would always trim those because I'm so afraid of the soot issue. That is the main reason why I trim the wicks when they get the mushroom tops on them and when they get the you know the taller uh, wicks before they're lit because if you don't you really really risk the chance of getting soot all over your walls and just all in your house. So Although I didn't trim them with this candle and I've had a good burn with this candle. I have not had a cotton ball at all. I would want to say that maybe it's possible that if you don't trim your wicks, you could possibly have a better burn. But that is not always true because I do think that happened with one other candle that I didn't trim as well. Then it did end up getting puny wicks. But most of the time you pretty much just have to trim those wicks because if you don't, you really will end up getting a lot of soot in your house. And even though you may have a good burn all the way and not have to cotton ball it, it's really not worth the risk of getting soot all over your ceilings and your walls and everything. So even though this worked for me this time, I'm probably going to continue to trim the wicks just because I've been really, really trying hard to control the soot in my house with the candles. So I have been trying to stay on top of the trimming the wicks when they get the flames get too, too high. So. I wanted to test it out just this one time with this candle. So, and it did work, but I'm probably just going to have to go back to trimming them because I don't I don't want to risk the 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 soot getting everywhere. So, like I said though, the burn has been fine. Haven't had combat at all and the the flames are still doing fine. So, next we'll talk about the scent. The scent is really really nice. I really really like this candle a lot. It's a different candle. I've never smelled anything like this. As far as I know, it's a complete new scent. Um, it is a little mixture of different candles. It smells a lot to me like a mixture of marshmallow fireside, but it also has a little bit of lavender in there, like a marshmallow fireside with a light lavender. It could be, it's not strong like French lavender. French lavender I had last year and it was a really strong just like complete lavender but it's not quite like that it's more of a subtle lavender 
it's just a real light lavender. I really like it. It really works well. It's not too smoky. It's not too lavender. It's just really nice and um, th they're really subtle. The, the scents are really subtle. They're very soft, very um, very peaceful. The, it's, the title of the candle really does kind of set the mood of what the, the candle scent is. It's peace. It has a calming, peaceful, kind of a tranquil kind of scent to it. It's very good in the bedroom. I have it here in the bedroom. It's done really well. I never did move it into the living room just because I really thought it did well in the bedroom. Um, sometimes I do that. If the candle does really well in the bedroom, I don't necessarily want to move it into the living room. Um, but I think this one would be well in a bigger room too. It may not be quite as strong as the it is in the bedroom, but it, it probably would do well in the living room. So having said that, I will talk about the throw. So the throw has been very good for most of this candle. I did light it right at first, the first time I lit it. It was a little bit lighter when I first lit it. I thought, yeah, I could smell it, and um, I it was more of a lighter smell to me at first, but I could definitely smell it. It was just kind of a light smell. But the second time I burned it, it really kicked in. Like the second burn, it was, it was really strong, the second burn. It was probably about a... A medium high throw on this on the second burn but then on the third burn and thereafter all the way through after that it has been more of a more of a, a light medium than than a strong medium but definitely well more more to the medium I wouldn't even say light medium I would say a medium just not a strong medium but it's definitely stronger than it was at the very beginning but just not quite as strong as it was that second burn. But still, it's been really good. I, I definitely can smell it in the bedroom. It's been a consistent. I can I've been able to smell it the whole time I've been burning it. So that's a big, big plus because I've had some issues with my Bath and Body Works candles lately. Haven't been consistently throwing through the whole candle. They've been kind of off and on, hit and miss a little bit throughout the candle. So, but this one has had no problems. I've been able to smell it the whole time. It just wasn't quite as strong as it was um, earlier on and then um, but not as light as it was at the very beginning so but but I could still smell it the whole time so it's been really really good I really like this candle definitely I would repurchase this candle so I highly recommend this if you've been thinking about getting it if you see it at the candle sale that's coming up I think it's been confirmed it's going to be on December 5th which is a Saturday and they're going to be 850, I believe. So I want to try to see if I can go out and get some, but I have to work that day till 430. So I won't get out there till after five o'clock. So I'm not sure what they will have left by then, but I'll probably still go out there and see, see what they have left and see if there's anything I want to pick up. I only want to pick up a few anyway. So if I, if there's nothing left, I guess I'll just, I guess it wasn't meant to be for me to get any, but I'll definitely have to go and check it out anyway. So if you see this one there at the 850 candle sale, definitely pick one up. I think it's really, really good. It's, in my experience, it's done really, really well. So if you like like a marshmallow fireside and like lavender scents, like a light lavender, I think you would like this. It's really, really nice. So that is my review for Peace Ice Vanilla Woods. Thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.